So here's how it is. You said to yourself, I'd like a heavy haulage truck model. Well, you've come to the right place because we're looking at another limited edition from WSI Models. It comes out of the box in the usual silky smooth way, and a flick of the knife cuts the tape and lets the model out. It is a Scania G Normal CG17N 8x2 tag axle flatbed with a Palfinger PK78002SH loader crane. And here is the manual for the Palfinger crane. One tiny bit of assembly to do is to add on the lifting beam. We are upside down looking at the chassis, and as we would expect, it's very detailed. And there are different tyres on the driven axle. The Scania cab has got BMS graphics on the roof, and the modelling of the grille is really good. The model has a realistic number plate and there are nicely modelled lights. Looking at the side there are more sharp graphics including a BMS fleet number and there's even a tiny graphic at the first step. Also looking very sharp on the model are the Scania wheels and here you see a series of cabinets with the handles marked by graphics. Looking at the back there are nice chevrons and there are detailed lights and the number plate. The flatbed deck is modelled with deck post locations and there are inlaid plastic replica timbers. A highlight of the model are the very detailed graphics on the Palfinger loader crane and these extend to some sharp graphics on the boom. The telescopic sections are realistically modelled with thin walls and each section has its own piston and at the end there's a fixed hook. <laughs> In terms of functionality of the chassis, there is linked steering of the front two axles, but the range of movement is small. And the rear tag axle has the option of being clipped up out of service. Out onto the test track and the Scania rolls along in a straight line very nicely. But as we will see, setting the steering doesn't achieve an awful lot. And we must assume that the BMS trucks in Denmark only drive on straight roads. Let's now try out the tag axle and for that we push the axle down and there's a small clip that you rotate. That keeps the axle raised and although it's not as much as you get on the real truck, the axle is out of service. Oi mate, can we have a look at the engine? Yes of course you can and here we have tilted the cab. If the engine's hot you can cook yourself a fried egg and if it's not you can eat the egg raw. Ok so we all want to see the Palfinger crane up and working. And to stabilise the truck we stretch out the outriggers. The rear ones are two stage and the ones at the front are pull out and rotate. You can rotate the pads a bit but really on this model the outriggers are more for show. And to help the visual appearance you do get a set of spreader plates. Ok we are all now strong and stable. So we can carefully open up the Palfinger loader crane. The hydraulic rams are reasonably smooth and the crane rotates well. And there's some nice model engineering involved to allow all of the telescopic sections to pull out nicely. Other options for the model include fitting deck posts and plenty are supplied. And you might just need to steady them up a bit to get them to stand straight. With the deck posts up we might as well fit on a load and here's a piece of tower crane. And if that doesn't lift your spirits then another option is to fit container locks. And that allows you to whistle up the giant hand crane to fit a container on the flatbed. This is another interesting and good looking model from WSI. It gives you plenty of display options, particularly using the Palfinger. And the other functionality is mostly very good. And of course the level of detailing achieved by WSI is very high. Overall this truck model is rated as very good.